Hi, welcome back to the CNT Auctioneers YouTube channel. Uh, today we're just going to have a little talk about the items that are coming up in our USA-based Fine Military Auction, which takes place on Tuesday the 29th of November. Uh, obviously all the items are in our storage unit in the USA at the moment, so I don't have them here with me. But what we'll do is we'll have a little talk about the items, and you can see the pictures of the items that are coming up. Go onto our website and you'll be able to see the full descriptions and place your bids. So the first lot I'm going to talk to you about is lot 209 in the upcoming auction. This is the extremely rare Third Right Regimental General Goring Land Police Group General Goring Regimental Standard. This has got the original pole top and the streamers for the flag. This is a beautiful flag, this. Uh, lovely embroidery work and um, these are real treasured items for collectors, the regimental standards. Uh, always famously seen in the parades run by the Third Reich. Uh, very, very good piece. A little bit of wear, but it is still a very rare item, probably one of the rarest regimental standards there are out there. The estimate we've got on this is twenty-five dollars to $35,000. We are also lucky enough to have a Luftwaffe flight section regimental standard. This again is in superb condition. This comes with the original streamers, really nice bullion work. Uh, again, very good, all the colors remain bright and is a real super example. Uh, this is estimated at 22 to 28,000 US dollars. It's not just World War II German stuff we have in the auction. We have a very large collection of World War I British memorial plaques. Uh, all these are related to various uh, casualties of World War I, uh, all nicely mounted onto display boards with details of the recipient. Continuing with the British theme, uh, there's some very interesting early sort of Victorian and um, later accoutrements, uniforms and headdress. Uh, one item is the British General's full dress ceremonial cocked hat with the original feather plume. Uh, again, a very, very nice item. This one we've got estimated at $150 to $250. Obviously, being an American auction, um, we couldn't not have some good American pieces in the sale. And we've got lot 107, which is a really nice World War I American 33rd Infantry Division Engineer Steel Helmet grouping. So with this grouping, you've got the original steel helmet, photograph of the recipient, his Allied Victory Medal with bars, uh, some little bits of collar badge insignia, uh, plus his original uh, pickaxe in the original canvas uh, cover. Really, really nice grouping. And we've got this estimated at four to $600. We have a good selection of World War I German items as well. Uh, one of the star lots in that sale is the World War I German M16 camouflage steel combat helmet. This again is a really nice example with a typical ochre green and brown camo finish with the black separation lines. Really, really nice examples. Got the original, uh, got the original liner, no chin strap, but let's say original liner. Really good bright camo finish and it's just a really, really nice example. These again aren't around like they used to be, and we've got an estimate of 1,000 to 1,500 US dollars. Still on the Imperial German theme, we have an Imperial German blue and gilt Damascus presentation sword, beautiful gilt on the lion head, lovely blade in the original scabbard. Uh, this is one of uh, a number of these we've got. Uh, 201 is my favourite one, which is the one we're hopefully showing you on the screen now, and uh, you can see that, and we've got an estimate of five to seven thousand dollars. Now, like I said earlier with the flags, we've got some real super items to do with the Third Reich. Um, some very, very nice uh, daggers, headdress, uniforms. And a couple I just want to feature now is we have got um, Lot 237, which is a Third Reich Hitler Youth Leaders Dress Dagger by Ian F. Horster Solingen. Uh, that's housed in the original scabbard. Really nice condition blade with the motto Blut und Der. And uh, very, very good. Uh, one of the rarer German daggers uh, you can find from the Third Reich period. And we've got an estimate on this one at four to six thousand dollars. Like I say, with the headdress, uh, we've got a very nice early Third Reich Algemein SS NCO's peak cap. This is 382 in the sound. You can see it's the early one because it has the early pattern uh, cap eagle and the jawless skull insignia. Again, condition is very good overall. A uh, little bit of wear, but like you would expect to see. But generally, a real good example of an early Algemein SSP cap. Very, very desirable. An estimate we have on that is six to eight thousand dollars. Continuing on the theme of SS headdress, uh, we've got 396, which is a Waffen SS M40 steel combat helmet. Again, really good, untouched, original example. Little bit of battle damage, as you can probably see from the pictures on the back end of the shell. 
but lovely conditioned decal. Uh, the line is a little bit worn, has, does, has got some little bit of dryness and some little bit of damage, uh, but still a good original example. An estimate on that is six to eight thousand dollars. We've got a quite a good selection of uniforms in the sale, uh, ranging from lot 407, which is the World War II German Army General's field tunic. Uh, this is a really nice lightweight tunic, which again is not as more, as a little bit more unusual than the uh, the full wool uh, dress tunics. So this is the lightweight time, possibly worn in sort of southern Russia or southern France or somewhere like that, or just simply simply in the summer period. Um, all nice original uh, generals collar patches and shoulder boards. The eagle sadly has been replaced, uh, but again, lots of uh, metal wall loops on the breast of the tunic, and it's just a really, really nice example, I think. So estimate is three to five thousand US dollars on that one. We've got a number of SS uniforms in the sale. Uh, this includes uh, lot 424, which is a very, very nice set, which is the rare third right Algemeine SS officers Totenkopfer band Faringen named uniform set. So this includes the full black tunic with original cuff title, armband and collar insignia, original shoulder strap and the original breeches. Now the tunic has got a name label inside, which is named so it's attributable to a, an SS officer. So you can uh, probably do some research on that. Condition is really, really nice. And we've got an estimate of 12 to $18,000. 425 also in the SS theme of uniforms is the very rare Federal Algemeine SS Officer Summer Pattern Service Dress Tunic. These tunics are extremely rare and you very rarely find them on the market. This example was featured in a reference work on SS uniforms, which you can see uh, pictured uh, on this lot. This is lot 425. The tunic has all the original insignia applied and it's just a very, very nice example and very rare to find. This tunic, we've got an estimate of 15 to 20,000 US dollars. The last Third Reich item I'm gonna to talk to you about here is lot 463. Now this is the historically interesting and important World War II German recognition flag, which was taken from the first German tank that was destroyed by an American tank destroyer in World War II. This took place in North Africa. This, is, this item has been beautifully framed uh, along with a full detailed letter of the provenance of the flag. And you can clearly see the three USGIs posing with the flag, and you can clearly see it is that same flag. Really, really interesting piece, this. Uh, estimate on this is three to 5,000 US dollars. Okay, I'm gonna move on now, because we have some nice Japanese items. Uh, we've got three lots, which were all taken from the battlefields of Okinawa. And this includes a really nice uh, World War II Japanese last ditch pattern steel combat helmet, which has its original net um, now this helmet is the last ditch pattern, which you can see is slightly different to the normal Type 90 pattern Japanese helmet. Now these helmets were often referred to as civil defense, but they were used on the islands such as Okinawa uh, as a real, because that was one of the last actions where the Japanese took place against the Americans. Now these helmets are really rare to find in military pattern and military use. Uh, and it's just a really, really super example. Also, you'll see lot 576, I believe, which is the um, Japanese Arasaka bayonet, which again was taken uh, from Okinawa and nicely painted on the scabbard where it was taken. Really, really nice veteran bring back pieces here. And the last lot I'm gonna to talk to you about here is lot 598, which is an 18th, 19th century Islamic Ottoman Persian dagger Kinjau here. Uh, very nice example with the original scabbard uh, and just, trying to show that CNT auctioneers were doing all sorts of items of military from World War II, World War I, even back to the 18th and even 17th centuries. So if you have items you're looking at selling, uh, please do get in touch with us. We're always interested in the new material to offer to our clients. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please check out the catalogue. Uh, the auction takes place on the 29th of November. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, please uh, press the like button or subscribe to our channel. For more interesting videos we'll be doing on uh, CNT auctioneers, both here in the UK and in the USA. Thank you very much for watching.